Have you heard all the chatter about Timu? This new website seems to have sprung fully formed from the bottom of the internet and shot right to the top of places shoppers are looking for cheap consumer goods. But before you click buy now, you better watch the rest of this video because there are some things you need to know that I found out firsthand, like items that don't work, speakers that sound like phones, and things that just don't look like what you're paying for. For those who may not know, Timu is essentially an Amazon clone, or perhaps a hybrid of Amazon.com and Alibaba.com, which offers incredibly cheap products. Timu offers things like dollar store type inventory, cheap tech, and knockoffs of all kinds. Just take a look at the site, which changes regularly, its bold color scheme, prices measured in pennies rather than hundreds of dollars, and headlines blaring about prices that are 90% off, not to mention reviews that look like they were written by bots in the pre-chat GPT era, including people giving five-star reviews for things they even admit they haven't tried yet. Plus, there are clearly lots of copy-paste duplicate reviews with the same typos. Timu looks like it's one of those websites that's too good to be true, which I think is what we're all actually wondering here. And don't even get me started on the cartoony photos some retailers are using instead of the real thing, and the absolutely laughable promises some shops are making. Explosion-proof glass for your phone, huh? In all, it seems like this website is a bit of a joke. So is it? To help you protect your hard-earned money, I decided to place an order from the website to see what would happen. Yeah, I knew there would be a chance I'd spend money that would never be seen again, but I figured better I lose all of it than all of you collectively do. And, spoiler alert, at least one of the items I got was a dud right out of the box, which we'll get to, but the other items didn't come off much better. On Timu, I decided to buy things similar to items I've reviewed already or that I have on hand just to see how they compare and if they're knockoffs or what. Now, oddly, some of the things that I decided to shop for, like a light box for my photo and video work, were way more expensive on Timu than on Amazon. I guess it should go without saying that you really need to shop around and check prices before you buy anything from the site. I ended up choosing some lights for my YouTube set, two Bluetooth speakers, and an obvious AirPods Pro clone. Timu said the shipping was free and my order would arrive in 8 to 15 days. I placed my order and then waited. About two weeks later, my goods were dropped off at my door wrapped in white plastic by a man in a nondescript white minivan. It's here. My Timu package has arrived. I got some music. Well, I guess they're called music lights, but I thought they'd be cool light effects for making videos. The next thing I got, it's, it's a little crumpled, a little bit damaged. This is my JBL speaker clone. Unboxing my order, it is clear I definitely got exactly what I ordered. The question is, is it good quality? Let's start with the two Bluetooth speakers. These speakers are clearly JBL doppelgangers. Even the startup sound is a JBL copyright lawsuit in the making, if you ask me. It took me a couple tries to connect one of the speakers to my phone, but I got it eventually. And the first thing I realized is that the volume buttons weren't working right. Pressing them was skipping tracks and making a freaky phone ringing sound. I checked out the manual and found the volume actually requires a long press and hold, not short button presses, which is weird, but okay, it works. Now it turns out the volume wasn't the worst problem. No, that was the sound quality. Both of the speakers sound weak, tinny, and lean massively towards the high end, sounding almost scratchy. The M or the mode button on the back apparently swaps this speaker to an FM tuner, but with no antenna, and the manual recommends you can use the included aux jack as an antenna, there's really no way to adjust the station, and I got nothing but static. Again, the manual says you can press the volume button to search for stations, but nothing ever came in for me. 
I can't recommend either of these two speakers for music or podcast listening for anyone who wants to actually enjoy their audio. Now, the only thing I can say about these is that they might be ideal for small children who don't know any better, but the children would probably be extremely confused about how to operate the buttons. Let's take a look at the lights I ordered next. These weren't quite what I was expecting either. I hoped they would cast a light onto the walls, but they're more of a novelty with spinning, swirling colors inside the bar. The ambient glow on them is virtually non-existent, and really they'd be best as a night light since they don't throw off much light at all. I also didn't love that my two-pack here is wired together with only one USB connection, so they have to be used together, and there's not enough cord for them to be spaced more than about three feet apart. They might be nice behind a smaller monitor, but they are not ideal for a TV. Now, these are fine, I suppose, but they're not suitable for what I ordered them for, so I'm going to send them back. I was possibly most intrigued and excited by the $10 AirPods Pro clones I ordered, mainly because my original AirPods Pro only work about 20% of the time, so I want to replace them. The Timu version are such an identical knockoff, it's a wonder Apple isn't suing, or maybe they are. Either way, I actually kept the plastic on the Timu version, which are dubbed EarPods, just so I wouldn't accidentally mix them up with the real deal. I opened these up and put them into pairing mode, except that they wouldn't actually pair with my iPhone, and maybe I shouldn't be surprised about that. Even though the original listing and the instructions promise they'll work with an iPhone, these clearly do not. I also tried pairing them with my Google Pixel phone, and same story, they just wouldn't show up in the Bluetooth menu to pair. And again, maybe no surprise, when I looked them up again on Timu, they are discontinued. Hmm. So while these promise transparency mode and pairing just like Apple AirPods, I can't see if that's actually true because they wouldn't connect to any Bluetooth device in my house. I decided to return these as well since they are clearly junk. I will say Timu makes returns seem easy. It's a simple exercise on the website and I was able to print a prepaid shipping label and I dropped the box off at UPS within the required 14 days. About a week later, I got the return confirmation and the money was actually back in my account a few days later, so props to Timu for refunding me promptly. Overall, I have to say I'm really disappointed with the quality of goods from Timu. They're clearly cheaply made knockoffs of more popular products, and that shows both in the price and in the performance. I can say that the ordering process is easy because they want your money. Surprisingly, the returns process seems easy too. And since I did get my money back from the experience, it wasn't a total loss. I think if you know what you're getting from this website and you don't have high expectations about the quality of the products, you might be able to find some real bargains on the website. If you're looking for higher quality or name brand goods, you'd be best to stick with larger retailers or sites like Amazon. Now, this isn't the first time I've ordered something and gotten a complete dud. Check out the $2,000 espresso maker I had delivered that would not even make one cup of espresso, or see why sometimes even name brand gadgets sometimes aren't worth the price right now.